guys and thank you for stopping by to my channel today this is going to be the bath and body works fall and winter candle empties for you guys today it has been so long since i've done one of these videos and um sorry guys just for the lack of filming i have been sick like crazy it was really bad so i'm not going to go into too much detail on it but i just just been sick and i'm slowly getting better so um yeah so i have two full bags of bath and body works candles to show you guys that i used up so yeah the first candle i have here that i used up is the fresh balsam candle and it has the little tree lid on it and this is described as woodland balsam crisp eucalyptus fir branches and cedarwood i love having this candle every year it smells just like a christmas tree um we have a christmas tree a fake christmas tree in our big living room and i love having this because it definitely reminds me of a real christmas tree and i love it this is a pretty strong candle um I love it. I would definitely repurchase it. I have already before. And honestly, look at the packaging on this. So super gorgeous. I just could not get enough of this candle. The next candle I have here is the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla Candle. This one smells just like the Cinnamon Sugar Donut. It's pretty much an exact dupe. It says, the delicious fragrance of rich vanilla bean sparkle with sugar crystals and freshly grounded Mexican cinnamon. I had no problem with this candle whatsoever. This is, this is actually one of my favorite candles if I cannot get the cinnamon sugar donut candle. It was super strong. Definitely have this in a bigger area. I give this about an eight. It was just super, super strong and it's definitely a bakery scent um yeah burned evenly clean nothing wrong maybe a little bit of soot but you know you get that with a lot of candles not just bath and body works the next ones that i have here are let's just say not one but two of the sweather weather candles and these have the little maple leaves on them this one says, fresh sage, juniper berry, uh, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. Oh my goodness, this is definitely a fall staple for me to have every year. Um, if you like the fresh, kind of clean, outdoorsy, a little bit of sweetness, this just screams fall to me. I love it. I cannot get enough of this candle. They also have it for the winter as well. I haven't burned those ones yet. But, yeah. I just absolutely love it. And I give this candle about a 7. This one is not that, not like superly strong, sickly strong. But it was enough to where you could smell it and have it in like a bathroom or something. Or in the living room. It just smells super, super good. I highly recommend this candle. Um, definitely, definitely get your hands on this one. So there are two of those candles. The next one is another one with the maple leaf on it. This is in Marshmallow Fireside. This one says, Toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. For the longest time, I wanted to pick up this candle and never have and finally this year i decided i'm gonna get this candle i did and i loved it it wasn't super strong i prefer it to be a little bit stronger i give this about a 6.5 on the throw um evenly burned not too much sitting on it if any 
but I just wish this one was a little bit stronger. But other than that, I had no problems with it. Um, I definitely recommend having this one like out in the living room area. Um, it's just a nicer place to have it. Um, I like it. I would definitely repurchase this one again. The next candle here is the Fresh Sparkling Snow, and it has this type of lid on it, like a little snowflake type of design. It says sparkling sugar berries, ice, icy melon, and holiday pear. This is one of my favorite candles to burn during the winter time. There is this is just a classic I have to have every year with me in my stash, and I love it. This one was another one. It wasn't strong, but you could smell it. And I loved putting this one in my in my bedroom. It just smells super good, fruity. I love it. Um, you could definitely get the melon in it, or yeah, like the melon and the pear. It just smells fruity, good. And I said, like I said, I give this about a six and a half. The next one I have here is the Heirloom Pumpkin Candle. This one says the perfect autumn pumpkin celebrate in an invigorating warm blend of fresh pumpkin, creamy nutmeg, and rich brown sugar. Okay, so I did have a little bit of problem with this candle. I don't know what happened. It got kind of watery in here. I don't know why the candle does that. Um, but yeah, if you know what a, like, Joanne fabric smells like in the fall time. This is definitely what it smells like. This one was super, super strong. So if you are not into strong pumpkin scents, don't get this one. I give this one about a nine, nine and a half. That's how strong this candle was. I definitely recommend if you're gonna get this, put it in a big room because I put this in my bathroom and it was lingering out. That's how strong this candle was and I was super impressed with it. Just, I did not like how all of like the water got into it. I don't know how it did that, but other than that, I really had no problem. It was perfectly burned. But definitely, definitely in the big room if you're going to have this candle. And then I have, this one is the bow ties and bourbon candle. This one is described as, be transported to relaxing on a springtime porch with a blend of dark oak, fresh bergamot, and a hint of bourbon. This one had big, big wicks. It was definitely an even burn, no soot. But to be honest with you, everywhere I put this candle, I have tried moving it from room to room, smaller areas, bigger areas, and I just could not get a scent out of this one. I had to be right up at the candle to order to smell it. I was not impressed with this candle at all. And I definitely got really sick and tired of it when I went to the candle. I was so done with this one. I am not going to repurchase it. It was just a horrible candle all around. Um, just It just not something I would repurchase. But if you do like musky scents, like manly or cologne scents. This is something you might want to try out, but for me, no. Scent was about a three, if that. I'm lenient on that, but no. So guys, that was my fall and winter candle empties from Bath and Body Works. I hope... Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.